Hi and welcome to Worthing. We are at Van Lifers United, very first festival. We are doing the crafty camp out on tour. We have our little tent set up there where we're giving talks today and tomorrow on van safety, gas safety, traveling in Europe. And uh, we've got a couple of YouTubers coming that are gonna do a talk as well, all about who they are and what they do. We're powering the whole thing from our beast 608 Fogstar battery and this is the amazing thing we powered that up in September and we've never turned it off since it runs a fridge it runs a microwave it runs an air fryer oven it runs wi-fi it runs cctv and currently it's powering and lighting our tent so let's show you around the van so starting up top we have 540 watts of solar that runs down into our Vitron um, MPPT. So our, M our MPPT is 150 from Vitron and this handles everything we need. We're currently sat in bulk and it's been, it's been great to be honest. Uh, never falters, never had an issue. It's really efficient, never gets hot. I like it. So when we're driving, we get our power into the battery from our Orion XS 12 volt to 12 volt 50 amp DC to DC charger. This thing is worth its weight in gold. It is our main source of power most of the year round and it's so efficient. The older versions of these get very hot. This is about 98% efficient if I remember correctly. So it creates very little heat. And this is our latest edition, the Fogstar Drift battery charger. It's 12 volt, 50 amp, and if we ever need to top the batteries up, need that little bit extra, say in winter, that is going to keep us topped up. And right in the back there is the power plant that keeps us running, keeps us in the lifestyle we've become accustomed to as well. That's the Fogstar 608 Beast battery. And it has been flawless. No issues whatsoever. And yep, that's a big T-fuse. If you're wondering why we've got a T-fuse, we've got a video for that. Go and check it out. The bonus of the DC to DC charge as well is it doesn't need sun. So if we're driving, if we need a little bit of extra power put in the batteries, we can start the van, we can go for a drive. And we find ourselves most days we are moving somewhere. So having that DC to DC charger gives you that baseline really it's going to charge your batteries every time you move your vehicle so that's the hardware let's go and have a look what we actually run in the van so the fog star battery and the solar allow us to power multiple household appliances i'm going to run through them with you now we have a tv we have alexa hello alexa morning good morning and happy birthday to American actor Chris Evans. There you Apparently, go. He loves to tap dance and knows all the words to the songs in The Little Mermaid. <laughs> right, that's an interesting fact. We run a Dolce Gusta. And we power a household under counter fridge freezer. We power a CCTV. We power a monster Wi Fi system. We run a microwave oven. We run an air frying oven. I'm actually going to get an air frying microwave. I'm going to get rid of both of them. And I'm actually going to put an air frying microwave in there. Have a look at them. They are brilliant. When we started designing the van, we all sat down and we discussed our needs. Lisa wanted a shower um, and a fixed toilet, which she got. Riley wanted to be able to play on uh, Fortnite and stuff like that. He got that as well. And for me, I just wanted to be able to have a nice cup of coffee from our coffee machine, wherever we decide to park up. And that was the catalyst behind all of this. So this is the most expensive coffee I've ever bought. But it, this system's flawless. It works brilliantly. And that's why I'm sharing it with you because it doesn't need to be over engineered. It doesn't need to be over complicated. You can build a simple battery system like this and keep yourself off grid. So this setup allows us just to leave everything on. We don't turn it off. We leave the fridge empty, but on. If we're not using the van, 
I don't see the point in just turning it off. It's healthy running in the background. So even though everything's just on standby, the sun's still shining, the battery's still getting used, topped up, conditioned. So we just leave everything on, never turn anything off, even the Wi-Fi. So let's talk about the latest upgrade. Even though the DC to DC charger covers most of our needs, if we ever need a quick top up, we've got that option now. We can just plug in somewhere and top up the batteries. That's going to probably be more in the winter time. We might not move for a couple of days, so we may want to just go and plug in and just have that little bit of extra power put back into the batteries and make sure that they're healthy. The Fogstar Drift 50 amp battery charger is designed specifically for Fogstar's batteries. Its simplicity is second to none. There's no setup involved. It's just plug and play. It has lots of safety features built into it, like overcurrent, uh, reverse polarity, all them good things. It's rugged and strong, and it's perfect for van life environment. It is a brilliant piece of kit. It's 93% efficient, I believe, so it creates very little heat. It's a perfect addition for an off-grid system for when you need to be on-grid. That's it. That's our off-grid system. It's been powering us since September 2024. We don't use shore power, but if we do, we've got the option there now. We do park the van up for a while. I do work, and uh, obviously we want to keep the battery tipped up. The solar does a wonderful job at that, but now we have another option we can plug in we can keep the batteries healthy and in condition, in good condition, by leaving that charger on. It's a smart charger, it will automatically recognise if that battery needs topped up and it will start its cycle. And if you consider an off-grid system, I would consider looking for um, quality items rather than value items. Uh, it's a false economy. You will end up replacing stuff as you go along. If you're building to a budget, you know, you, you, you're kind of stuck. So for me, buy good, buy once, and uh, do it safely. Well, that's us back from Van Life United Festival, doing a bit of a deep clean. I noticed the cupboards were looking a bit grubby, so I'm just sorting them out. Forgot to mention though, we powered the PA system and the lighting on our little tent for the Van Life Talks. At Van Life United Festival. We also ran a, a brand new Tiriaki steak, um, steak pot plate thing. We did two breakfasts on that and we actually did a barbecue for Nick's birthday. So it's Nick from only half a world away. Now if you haven't checked out their channel, go and check them out. They do some absolutely amazing videos all about Morocco and traveling in Europe. They spent eight months traveling this year in Europe well worth checking them out there's some brilliant locations and there's some good advice on there as well so go and check them out they really really need your support if you've stuck around so far we must be doing something right as well so why not hit the subscribe button why not drop us a comment if you've got a question or if you're enjoying what we're doing just let us know and if you really want to hit that notification bell that way you'll never miss another one of our videos anyway thank you for watching it's been brilliant We'll see you again. Why not head over to our website, thecraftyblinders.co.uk, where you can find out a little bit more about us and the offers we have on. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok to keep up to date with what we're up to.